In this video, I'll give you a demo of SNS with Lambda. Just to give intro about simple notification service, it is a managed service that provides message delivery from publisher to subscribers. So it is based on pub sub model. So against one topic, you can have multiple subscribers. So the diagram that you see here is a common use case for SNS. So you can see that this is a common uh, payments processing flow. So when a successful response is received from a payment gateway, you want to perform multiple steps such as uh, confirm the order, send user a text message or an email or the push notifications. So you can see here that, you know, once a payment is successful here, so we will send a message on the SNS topic and that topic is subscribed by three different consumers. So the first one is Lambda which will update our inventory in DynamoDB. Then you can send push notifications for successful orders on the user's mobile app. And the third consumer is uh, your simple email service, which will have an email template, which you will follow to send the order confirmation email. So this is pretty straightforward use case using SNS. You can create one topic and you can add multiple subscribers to handle all the subsequent operations. So in this video, we will look at how you can invoke Lambda function from SNS. So we will create one topic in SNS through AWS console, and then we will create a Lambda function and we'll try to publish some messages which would be consumed by Lambda. So this is the flow that we will be covering in this video. So we can jump on to AWS console now. First, I will open uh, SNS console and I will create a new topic. So I already have two topics. Let me open that and you can find this button here, create topic. So I will use the standard one because I need Lambda with FIFO subscription protocol is only SQS. So I'll choose standard here and then I can name my topic as example topic display name i'll leave empty so then there are certain options which you can consider when you are creating topics in your real life project so there is encryption you can enable encryption and choose the customer master key i'll not enable this and then there is access policy so you can choose basic one or advanced one uh, you can see certain options like you know who can publish messages to the topic and who can subscribe so i'll keep the default one, then uh, there is uh, delivery retry policy. So, so basically SNS uh, pushes notifications to your consumer. So let's say that, you know, our SNS is trying to send the message to Lambda and somehow, you know, our Lambda is throttled. So in that case, Lambda is not able to receive the message from SNS. So in that case, how many retries do you want to do? What is the delay between the retries, the minimum delay, maximum delay? So this is the delivery retry policy. So you can configure that as per your needs. The next is the delivery status logging. So in case you want to enable logging the successful delivery of the messages to these services, then at the last is tags. So I'll just create the topic to create the subscription. You first need the service, which will listen to this topic. What I'll do is I'll create a Lambda function. Now I would be using Java as my runtime in the Lambda. So I have already one project in my GitHub. I will clone this project Lambda CDK example, and uh, this uses CDK to deploy Lambda function directly to the AWS. So in case you are not interested in CDK, you can just focus on the code that I will be writing for the Lambda. I'll open my IntelliJ now wherein I have already cloned the project into a new repo. So you can see here, this is our Lambda as an ex example project. You can see we have two modules here, functions, which contains the code to our Lambda function and then is infra, which will help us deploy our Lambda function directly from our local. If I go inside this SRC, you can see that we have this hello Lambda and uh, I'll just update this function. So if I go to the POM of my functions module, you'll see that we have only two dependencies here. One is uh, JUnit and second is AWS Lambda Java core. So now our Lambda would be invoked based on the SNS messages. We need new dependency here, which is AWS Lambda event. So I'll go to Chrome and I will search for that dependency. Yeah, this is the page. So I'll copy the latest version. I'll just go back to my IntelliJ and paste it here. Our request handler will receive SNS event as an input and I want to return a response here. So let me create a new class here response because uh, let's create this Lambda function with best practices. 
uh, let me create a new class here response which we can use uh, as a return type from our lambda function so yeah this is my class so i've created two fields here in response one is message and other one is http code and to generate the boilerplate code i will use lombok here so i can copy lombok dependency from maven central also i'll go to pom and paste it here i will use uh, at the rate data and uh, builder here so now i'll go to my lambda i'll just import this class which i created first thing that we need to do is process the sns event so i will change the name here you can call event dot get record so this will return you a list of uh, event records and then you can call for each here what i'll do is i will just print the messages that we are getting uh, in our records so what i can do here is i can call v dot get sns dot get message and i will just print this and i can just use uh, log4j annotation from lombok i'll call log dot info here message received from sns so this is it guys this is a very basic example you can get the message from sns there is something else called message attribute you use message attributes a lot in the similar way when you call event dot get records and then for each record you get message attributes also you call get sns dot get message attributes so this is basically a map which you get yeah but we want to use it we want to keep it simple yeah this is it return a response object with the necessary details so what i can do here is i can call response dot builder dot http code so this is successful response what i can do is i can call http url connection dot http okay and then i can call message and i can pass okay and then i can call build so ideally in uh, production ready systems what you do is whatever business logic that you have here i mean you are connecting to db you are calling some other service you are processing sqs sns you try to you know include this in try catch and in case of successful you just return the successful response otherwise you know you call internal server error and so this is how you do a production ready lambda so you can handle like exceptions appropriately here i'll just add a base exception here i'm almost done so what i can do is i can just build yeah so you can see we have this assets directory and function dot jar now i'll go to infra and i will just call cdk deploy so this is done i'll go to aws console i'll just go to my lambda function you can see that we have uh, this hello world lambda which is created 25 seconds ago and if i go inside this you will see that uh, we don't have any trigger here as of now we will be adding a subscription here in my example topic i will click on create subscription and in the protocol you have to select aws lambda and the end point that you need to give is uh, the arn so i'll just copy the arn and paste it here then here you can see we can have a subscription filter policy if you want to filter the messages but i'll not cover that in this video and then the redrive policy uh, in case the messages are not delivered do you want to send those messages to a dead letter queue i'm not covering that in this video so i'll click on create subscription so you can see subscription is done so if i go to my lambda and if i just refresh this you will see a new trigger here as sns yeah you can see that we have sns now and if i click on that you can see this is the example topic which is a trigger and we have the subscription id so how can we test this now we can just go to our example topic and we have an option here publish message so in my case i will just uh, enter the raw message 
let's say hello from sns i'll not add any subject here and i'll not add any message attributes but yeah they are very important when you are working in a real life project so i'll just click on publish message so this should trigger our lambda function and let me go to the lambda i'll just click on view logs in cloudwatch we should see a new entry there yeah you can see that this is the latest one so yeah you can see we have this message uh, hello from sns and uh, you can also filter this particular message and you can see hello from sns let's say if i want to send another message uh, you can publish this is second message click publish here and uh, if i just refresh this yeah this is the second message so this is pretty straightforward but in real life scenarios you don't just send you know the plain messages you generally send a, a json you know which is processed by your lambda so let's say in our case let me just extend my lambda function to process the json file so what i can do here is i can just send uh, the even detail so i can just say i'm sending an employee detail wherein the there are three fields let's say so i would be sending this uh, json to process this json i have to change my lambda code what i'll do i'll just open my intellij again so let me just fetch the message from this event so what i can do here is i can put an if block here and now i can just call is present on this sns record and i can fetch the message so i'll create a new employee class here this employee class will have the three fields i'll use lombok here for the getter setter so i have my employee class so what i'll do is whatever json i'm getting from the sns message i will try to deserialize that to my employee object so for that i will use json and i need to add the dependency of json so i'll just copy it here so i will call json dot from json and i can pass json message and employee dot class i will get an employee ob object here and uh, then again i can follow the same process i can just log the employee object we are good with this so i will just comment out this line of code i'm not processing the records again so i'll just return okay in case everything is fine then if exception then internal server error let me build it again and we can then deploy our lambda function so i'll go to infra call cdk deploy to deploy my latest changes Yeah, I'll just click on uh, publish message, and let's just check how this goes. Yeah, you can see that our employee object is successfully deserialized here. So you can see the employee object here. This is it from this video. So I hope this is clear. I've tried to make this video as short as possible to just convey how we can achieve uh, the SNS and Lambda integration. Do subscribe my channel and don't forget to clean your AWS resources.